to be that guy but before we get this video started everybody please do me a favor and hit the like button leave a comment man you know what i'm saying share it with your friends helps your boy with the algorithm and get in you know what i'm saying my videos out there so hit the like button subscribe ring the bell all the stuff that they tell you to do all right so boom what's the damn deal youtube it's of course your boy volandis and we back with another video i do want to start this video off by saying that for everybody who do not know who i am i am a photographer slash videographer i put photographer first because i mainly do photos while also focusing on videos for these youtube channel for my youtube channel videos i am in no way shape or form a professional filmmaker in my opinion i do very much enjoy making films and i do enjoy making videos i enjoy expressing my creative side through these videos and the ideas that i have through these videos so that is what i do i would not say that i am a professional videographer a lot of the things that i'm going to tell you guys in this video are my own personal things i've been doing the youtube thing and making these videos and short films and all the other stuff that i've been doing on this channel for quite some time now so these are the things that i now do that make me comfortable with releasing my videos and having my own look and um things that i mainly want to see in my videos that make me happy so um these are all my personal opinions so let's just start and preference that before we start this video but anyway, since I switched the whole kind of narrative of this YouTube channel and what I do with these videos, with making the short films, even within these photography videos that I make, I do try to add some form of a short film at the beginning of every single one of these videos. I've also made other short films, but recently I've been having my short films and my videos in general have a certain look that I just um, acquired for these videos. And a lot of people have been asking me what am i doing to get this look what am i editing in how am i achieving this look and um i don't know asking the questions that need to be asked so for one before we get into what i use to edit and how i edit these videos that i've been making we need to talk about the camera that i use and the settings for my camera that i use so for one i use a sony fx3 that is the camera that i am filming on right now and that is the camera that i've been filming my videos on for like maybe the past three to four months before that i was using a sony a7 III. so i've always been in the sony family i picked sony for video over any other camera because i like the way that sony looks i like the distinct look it has i like um the dynamic range that comes out of this camera i like the different um picture profiles and things of that nature but the fx3 is more of a cinema camera so it's video first and i like that a lot because um for my video camera i do want it to be like mainly focused on video i do want to thank sony for one for sending me this fx3 it was very generous and very um, kind and i'm very grateful because this is an amazing camera probably the best camera i've ever used for video in my life so i'm very happy to have this camera and i couldn't say too many too many nice things about it it's a great camera but as far as shooting goes the lenses that i use on this camera are the sony lenses 16 to 35 this is a 24 to 70. um i use the picture uh picture profile 7 and 8 that's s-log 2 and sometimes i use s-log 3 for certain type of things when i need more 
dynamic range of just more things out of this camera but for me most of the time i'm shooting an s-log 2 like all of this right now is being shot on s-log 2. a very important point with making videos at least for me is to be very is to be very aware of your lighting situations and getting things to look the way you want it to look in camera first before you even think about putting it on your computer and editing it when i go out to shoot these videos i'm I'm shooting these videos in a way and lighting these videos and setting my settings up in camera in a way where I already know what it's going to look like when I get it on my computer and I start editing it. A lot of the times people make the mistakes in camera and then they go back to post and then they try to fix those mistakes in post and then like certain things don't look the way they want it to look. If I overexpose a sky, it's going to be very, very hard for me to bring that back in post and it's not going to look the way I want it to look regardless of what I do. It's never going to get the look that I intended for it to have. So getting your settings right, being aware of the lighting situations that you're in, in camera first will make it for a very much easier time when you start editing and color correcting your footage. I also work with a lot of natural light, actually mainly only natural light. A lot of the videos that I showed at the beginning of this video was shot all with natural light. This is being shot with natural light. I 9.9 .9 times out of 10 only use natural light when making these videos so for me i'm very conscious and aware of the sun and where the light is coming from and where's the best place to film these videos and what's going to look the most cinematic i've made other videos in the past about getting a cinematic look through photos i kind of um, apply those same techniques to my video if you want to check that video out I don't know if it's right here or right here I don't ever I never know what that shit is one of these I'll put it up there but I do the same things when it comes to video now I was doing a lot and I mean a lot of research on getting the best look for color grading and just the things you need to do to get the looks you want I'll cut out of color grading as possible and Final Cut Pro and um, Adobe Premiere um, they're great apps to color in. I, I've colored in those apps for the longest time. And for, to me, those videos, some of my videos have looked great, but DaVinci is like on another level when it comes to color correcting and grading your footage. There's a lot more tools and other things you can do within DaVinci to get very specific looks. And all of the plugins and things that come with DaVinci just makes it one of the best applications to, to do your videos in. You could also edit your videos in DaVinci. I'm just used to Final Cut, so I only color in Final Cut and then. But speaking of plugins, a plugin that I use mainly to edit my footage is called Dehancer. Now, some of y'all already knew this or could tell by how my footage look, but Dehancer is basically a plugin for film like color grading and film effects in DaVinci Resolve. Now, side note, before I even get into this and show y'all what Dehancer is and kind of go into this, one, they are not paying me. They're not doing anything for me to, to tell you guys any of this. I pay for Dehancer with my own money, which was a very hefty, hefty price. And two, using Dehancer um, doesn't make you a colorist. It doesn't make you a professional color grader. It doesn't make you good at color grading because in a way it's a cheat code to go around certain things i would suggest that that if you are going to use this before you start using it to kind of learn some things before you just jump into this like i said i've been coloring and doing certain things for i don't know three four years four and a half years before i even figured out what this was and everything so i know a little something don't know everything but i do know a little something i didn't just jump straight to the cheat code all right so no joke as i was editing this video and getting this video together to put out um dehancer did just announce that they are releasing um the program for final cut pro say hi miso say hi baby yeah but anyway she um they said that they were releasing ah the program for Final Cut Pro. So I did hit them up, but like I said at the beginning of this video, I am not getting paid or anything like that, but I was able to talk to Dehancer and get you guys a code for a percentage off if you go over there and you purchase it. And like I said, they are now releasing it on Final Cut Pro. And like I mentioned, I edited in Final Cut Pro, so it'd be dope to have that um, program. Ooh, my arm's tired. Ooh, shit. So anyway, like I said, use code Belandis at checkout when you're checking out um, at Dehancer for 10% off of your purchase. But Let's get back into the video. But all right, let's just go through Dehancer real quick in DaVinci Resolve. 
So first and foremost, you have all these inputs to start off the look of your footage. And basically you could either um, put it in Rec. 709 or some other stuff. You can even choose your camera. Um, you can choose the camera that's not yours if you don't see your camera on here. Um, they just added the FX3 onto this uh, list of cameras to choose from. But before that, I've just been choosing the Black Magic and then um, doing the 4K and then film look because I think that looks the best on my film. You don't gotta, you know, stick within the parameters of the camera that you have. But then moving on, we have um, all these film presets to choose from, from Cinestill 50D to 800T, Portrait 400, 800 some older stuff some black and white stuff man it's just like a lot of things to choose from um i usually go through a couple of them depending on um what 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 i'm going for i've kind of chosen the ones i like already and stick to those but i, I like to see some different ones here and there um while i'm going through this it's pretty fun to see some of them um you also got the option to push and pull and um do different stuff to the film um preset so that's pretty dope too then um then down here you have print which is really dope because you have the option to um have it like look like uh like a printed film version so they have glossy paper um i use the kodak print film print input because uh, i think it just looks the best it has the most kind of i guess i would say um texture and just overall depth to it and um, it's easy to edit from there the film grain on this is probably my favorite film grain like that's within something because any other film grain that i've ever used has just been like not good and didn't look like film grain at all or just was too much but um and this is too much sometimes too but you have the option to lower it where you want to lower it like highlights mid-tones and other things of that nature next we have halation which is that reddish glow that you guys see around the highlights of some of these uh, videos and some of you guys have been asking me how i get that this plugin the dehancer plugin has the dehance uh, has halation already built into it then um yeah it's pretty dope you can control it like how much and how little where it goes where it doesn't go the the hue of it um it's pretty dope man i i really like the halation but i do i can't say that it it begins to get too much if you go above certain numbers i don't i don't put the local or global above 20 because after that it just kind of looks not good in my opinion unless you're going for that look so yeah and then bloom i personally use a promise filter but um for the sake of this i will throw the bloom effect on just so you guys can see but i usually don't use that filter just because i have a promise filter already on my lens when i'm filming so but if i want a little extra if i want something to look like real dreamlike or something i'll just up the bloom on that or something so yeah but anyway yeah dehancer is super simple it's super easy like i said it is a cheat code i personally again would consider um learning some stuff before you just jump straight into this and also while we're speaking on this i've personally created my own LUTs through davinci i do use the um i still do use dehancer for all the other stuff that i can't get through my LUTs, like the film grain and halations and blooms and film gates and stuff like that but i have created my own uh LUTs for my own look so if you guys want to download any of those they will be in the link in my description um but yeah this is what i do well this is what i've done and uh before i created my own LUTs within davinci and yeah i like it it looks good to me um looks really filmic it looks really unique and just really good so this is what i've been using man but yeah man uh, but yeah man that that kind of wraps it up for this video i hope that helps some of you guys out um i don't know if you are expecting something else but this is this is what it is um anyway like i said at the beginning of this video please like the video if you enjoyed it um if you support me it's always appreciated and i'm very grateful for the support subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed um ring the bell and do all the stuff that the youtubers tell you to do and yeah man we're gonna get up out of here i hope you guys have a blessed day let's go do some shit bro you know the vibes man let's get it